Hey, thanks for dialing up another edition of Dolphins Today. Fired up to be with you. And on today's show, we're going to break down the latest free agent rumors as it relates to the Miami Dolphins. And I know there's a lot that's been made about the Miami Dolphins salary cap situation. So we'll break it down, tell you exactly what you need to know and who those top free agent targets are on the market, as well as what positions the Miami Dolphins could use some reinforcements at. So it's all coming up next on Dolphins Today. But before we go any further, I need your help. Because let me tell you guys, I love you guys. I care about you. But Jake Reba's on the hot seat at Dolphins Today. The boss has said you need 500 likes on this video. If we don't get 500 likes, I'm out of here. Dolphins today, as we know it, will never be the same. So if you like me, like the video. If you want more Dolphins content, like the video. And let's save my job here at Dolphins today. So like today's video. It takes two seconds. Doesn't cost you anything either. And I sure appreciate it. All right. Now that you've liked the video, let's talk about this Miami Dolphins salary cap situation. Because we know it's not great. In fact, it's really, really bad as of now. And when the new league year starts in March, the Dolphins are projected to be about $40 million over the salary cap. So that means Chris Greer and company need to get to work to figure out how to change that. And if you ask Chris Greer, he's not real concerned about the current state of the Miami Dolphins salary cap, saying we're not really right now concerned about where we'll be in March salary cap wise. So, okay, Mr. Greer, if you're not concerned about it, Neither are we. We trust you. You'll restructure some things, maybe make some cuts. Emmanuel Ogba, <clears throat> cough, cough, and free up some calorie, uh, uh, calorie, some salary cap space, that too. And as the Dolphins move on into free agency with that salary cap space, let's break down some of those free agent targets, starting with maybe a bargain that might be slept on. A lot of people don't necessarily consider Josh Uche a top free agent on the market, but I believe he's a guy that could really help this Miami Dolphins team, specifically at a position of need right now because of the injuries to Jalen Phillips, Bradley Chubb, and the free agency of Andrew Van Ginkel. Not sure if he'll be back in Dolphins uniform or not, but one more guy that can boost up the edge rushing position for the Miami Dolphins. Remember, Josh Uche was very highly regarded out of Michigan and kind of fell into the shadow in New England of guys like Matthew Judon and guys that really just performed at a higher level than Uche did. But that's not to say he doesn't have the potential and you look at his 2022 and 2023 years, obviously those are his best years statistically, especially in 2022 with 11 and a half sacks. Now fell off a little bit last year, but only played the 15 games. I think he's a guy that could help this Miami Dolphins and would come at a bargain price. And so when you're in the salary cap situation that the Dolphins are, sometimes you've got to do a little bit of bargain shopping. And sometimes, you know, we've all had that moment where we're shopping around, you're looking at the clearance rack, and all of a sudden something's on sale, it's a good deal, and it's exactly what you're looking for. I think that would be the case with Josh Uche. Because again, this Dolphins defensive end uh, room and their position group as a whole, very, very good right now. Jalen Phillips, Bradley Chubb, Andrew Van Ginkle. But obviously with the injury to Phillips, the injury to Chubb, it needs some reinforcements. And I really don't believe Emmanuel Agba is going to be back. And even if he is, he didn't really uh, satisfy the need of those reinforcements at the edge rusher position. Whereas Josh Uche might come at a bargain and be someone that can help this Dolphins team. So put your general manager hat on with me and let me know, should the Dolphins sign Josh Uche? Go ahead and let me know in the comments by typing S for sign or P for pass. I personally think this would be a great signing for the Miami Dolphins. Now, coming up, we're going to continue to break down the Dolphins free agent targets. But first, I want to give a huge shout out to today's presenting 
sponsor. And if you're like me, you want to smell your best every single day of the week at all times. We've all heard the expression, new year, new me, new me. But how about this? New year, no stink. That's right. We're going to take out body odor. We're going to eliminate it by introducing Mando from the makers of Loom Deodorant. Whether your New Year's resolution is hitting the gym or maybe some better hygiene or simply vowing to keep things cool and fresh below the belt, Mando's whole body deodorant has got your back or shall I say your front too. And that's right. Mando is offering over 40% off on the starter pack when you shop go to shopmando.com slash shopmando.com slash chat because let me tell you what you can say goodbye to last year's stink and upgrade to a whole new level of personal care with mando's whole body deodorant so your pit and balls deserve the best for 2024 and i'm telling you the lady friend of mine has noticed ever since I started using Mando, hey, I smell a lot better. And also, on the flip side of that, I was at the gym the other day. The dude next to me stank. And I was like, buddy, you need Mando. And so I told him, shopmando.com, use that promo code chat, 40% off your starter pack. And when you go to shopmando.com, you will be able to fully embrace the idea of smelling your best in 2024. That's what it's all about, shopmando.com. And don't worry, we love you and we care about you. So we'll put that link right in the comments of today's video. And you go to shopmando.com and use that promo code CHAT, C-H-A-T, shopmando.com. Use promo code CHAT. Now, the Dolphins would benefit from also pursuing some potential free agent wide receivers. Because you look at this offense from a year ago, yes, Tua Tagovailoa led the National Football League in passing yards. Tyreek Hill obviously led the NFL in receiving yards, receiving touchdowns. And Jalen Waddell and Tyreek Hill represent, in my opinion, the best one-two punch as a wide receiver unit. But the depth falls off after that. So pursuing the free agent Curtis Samuel from the Washington Commanders would be in of the best interest of the Miami Dolphins. So he is also on my list of free agent targets. And again, he's certainly a number three wide receiver, so the stats might not necessarily jump off the page at you. But you look at what he did the last year in 2023 in 16 games, 62 receptions and four touchdowns. Again, this is third wide receiver production. And again, going back to the same conversation we had about the Dolphins maybe needing to do some bargain shopping, Curtis Samuel is a guy that fits that mold. And again, when you look at the Dolphins wide receiver depth chart, Braxton Berrios, eh, we'll see if he's back, but the production from a third wide receiver in receiving the ball just was not there. I don't think Chase Claypool's going to be back, and we're not sure about Cedric Wilson. So, again, revisiting that Dolphins cap situation, expected to be over $40 million over the cap, and that is, in fact, a team with the Miami Dolphins that might need to do some bargain shopping on the tra or in the free agent market. So therefore, pursuing a guy like Curtis Samuel makes a lot of sense for the Miami Dolphins. And one thing I love about Curtis Samuel is I think Mike McDaniel could creatively find ways to really maximize his skill set. He's a dangerous weapon that really is electric with the ball in his hands. We know how much pre-snap motion McDaniel uses, and more than just a receiver, Curtis Samuel can be a guy that you utilize in the screen game, in the jet sweep game, and so on and so forth. And so as a number three receiver, I think he fits in nicely with Mike McDaniel's coaching philosophies as a play caller and leading that Dolphins offense. So again, a bargain at the wide receiver position and somebody that Mike McDaniel could really maximize his skill set. So get out your red pen and let me know what you think of this idea of signing Curtis Samuel. Is it an A-plus idea or is it an F idea? Absolutely not, Rima. We don't want Curtis Samuel. He is a bum. Or is it somewhere in the middle, kind of a messy C plus, B, B minus idea. Either way, let me know down in the comments. Now, moving on, my third free agent target will flip back to the defensive side of the ball. It's a guy that we saw twice this past season, Kyle Duggar, safety for the New England Patriots and Division II legend Kyle Duggar out of Lenore Rhymes. And you look at his production, he's a free agent in 2024, a guy that in 2023 really made his mark 
uh, on the Patriots defense. One of the few bright spots for the New England Patriots. Really versatile guy as well. Can play multiple safety positions. You can move him up close to the line of scrimmage. You can blitz him off the edge. And then as well in pass coverage. Had two interceptions on the season. And one of the reasons I like him so much is because he beat up on the Dolphins a couple of games. And yes, Miami went 2-0 and against the Patriots this past season. But in those two games, Kyle Duggar was all over the field. Nine tackles, had the interception as well as a sack in that game. And that's what I mean by his versatility as a safety. He can get involved and blitz off the edge and really you know, be another defender in the box from the safety position. So I like Kyle Duggar's versatility. And there's a lot of question marks in the Dolphins' safety room. For example, Javon Holland might not be back. We're not sure about Brandon Jones. I beg your pardon. Brandon Jones, Deshaun Elliott, and Elijah Campbell are your three Dolphins free agent safety. So who will the Dolphins pair with Javon Holland? Because obviously Javon Holland, a tremendous player for the Dolphins. And when you look at those three free agents, yes, they're relatively young, but Deshaun Elliott's already bounced around the league a little bit. Elijah Campbell had some ups and downs, didn't play necessarily um, too particularly well in that Sunday night game in Week 18 against the Buffalo Bills. And Brandon Jones, we'll see if he becomes a salary cap casualty as well. But I think Kyle Duggar is right among those three Dolphins free agent safeties as far as a guy that could really provide an edge for the Dolphins defense. So what say you? Let me know down in the comments. Should the Dolphins sign Kyle Duggar? Type Y for yes or N for no. Either way, I'd love to hear your opinion on whether or not the Miami Dolphins should sign Kyle Duggar. And while we're talking safeties, let me throw one more out there for you. Micah Hyde, who obviously we know very well playing for the Buffalo Bills, just like Duggar, in the same division as the Miami Dolphins. Duggar, of course, the Patriots, Hyde for the Buffalo Bills, but we see them twice a year. And with Micah Hyde, that's a guy that's been in the National Football League for 11 years, originally drafted by Green Bay, but... Really has put together an impressive resume over the course of his career. He's been a model of consistency, two-time All-Pro. And when you read the reports close to Buffalo, it's likely he won't re-sign in Buffalo. And so the question you ask yourself, is there any gas left in the tank with Micah Hyde? Because he has battled some injuries, only played 14 games this past season. And maybe you offer a one-year deal or something to that effect. But again, could be a bargain towards the end of his career. And in 2023, and like I mentioned, just the 14 games played, he did have the two interceptions, so still can be that ball-hawking safety. And depending on what you value more, I think Kyle Duggar, obviously a better player than Micah Hyde, but maybe Micah Hyde a begging bar or better bargain, if you will. And again, it goes back to that conversation about the free safety room in the Miami Dolphins organization, about what safeties will be. Those free agents between Brandon Jones, Deshaun Elliott, and Elijah Campbell all set to hit the market. So the conversation becomes maybe you pick a safety to sign. And with the two that we just discussed, I'd love your opinion on which one you'd prefer. Type KD for Kyle Duggar or MH for Micah Hyde. Either way, you got to let me know down in the comments. And let me tell you, I think both of those guys would fit in well in Miami, but Kyle Duggar, for me, just offers a little bit more versatility. So I'm typing KD. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, on a little bit of the hot seat here at Chad Sports with Dolphins today. So help me out. Drop a like on today's video because we're bringing you Dolphins content each and every day here on Dolphins Today. And even though it's the offseason, we don't care. We got plenty to talk about covering the aqua and orange, and that's what Dolphins Today is all about. So thanks so much for tuning in to this edition of Dolphins Today. And how about a shout-out to today's producer, the one and only Big Tex. Couldn't make Dolphins Today happen without him. Really appreciate all of his contributions to the program. And, hey, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever you're watching. We'll see you next time on Dolphins Today.